Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial from Middle Earth. Yes, today we are painting Theoden King. He's possibly my favouritest character in the whole thing. I just love him. You should read the books, because Theoden's an absolute boss. He's a fantastic miniature as well, really, really cool. I've had him in my stock of things to do for a long time, and I just wanted to get him done, because, well, I feel like I really should. And this year we're going to be doing a lot of MESBG content, I hope. So, we're going to jump in and we're going to start painting him. We're going to focus on Theoden on Snowmane, because that's obviously the more complicated one. We will be painting the other one as we go along. And if anything comes up, we'll show it. But we are mostly just going to be focusing on this version of him. And the colour we're going to be using first is Soul Blight Grey. And before I even begin with that, I should tell you that the... Both models have been primed in grey sear. So, taking our soul blight grey, we're going to use this over the top of all of Snowmane's, well, I guess horse hair or flesh. Whatever you want to call it. We're going to be starting there. So with all that soul blight grey applied, we're then going to take some seraphim sepia. I'm going to apply this over the mane and the tail. That seraphim sepia applied and drying, we're then going to take some Saigal brown and we're going to apply this over the top of the horse hooves. But we're also going to apply this over the top of the leather armor as well. Now you could do this over the top of Theoden if you wanted to, because it is the same color. However, I'm not going to at this point. I'm just going to focus on getting the horse ready. And then we shall do the rider. After all, where is the horse and the rider? <laughs> right in front of you, Josh. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some wild wood. I'm going to use this to paint in the reins and the bridle. So with that all done, we're then going to take some Apothecary White and we're going to apply this over the top of the horse's socks.
hammer that done. We need a tiny bit of black legion. And we're going to apply this over the top of the eyes of the horse. And with that Black Legion now applied, we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. I'm going to use this to paint in all of the scale mail. And we're also going to use this to paint in the horse's bit. You can see just here. As well as the plates. on the armor. So with that all done, we're then gonna take some thins down retributor armor. I'm gonna apply this over pretty much all the remaining details. So we've got a bit of trim just here. like that. We've got bits of the saddle here like that sort of thing. We do have these little kind of, well I guess they're bits of trim on the head. Just there like that. And on the back here, what we want to do is we want to get these really thick kind of, almost like scales. So with that all done, it's time to add another shade. And the shade is going to be some nulled oil. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the black, not black, silver. So used to saying the black. We're going to be applying this over the top of all of the silver, but we're also going to be applying this over the top of all of the gold. And over the top of the brown. Particularly of the leather. Don't worry so much about the horse's hooves. So with that done, it's still drying at the moment, but Snowmane is what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And of course it's looking pretty cool. However, we're only got, gonna leave it there. We're gonna take it to the next level. I'm gonna do this by adding some layers and some highlights. Now the first of these is going to be, well, kind of both. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking some thinned down Corax white. We'll be using this to effectively relayer the horse's flesh and the hair and tail, mane and tail. What we're going to be doing is going to do lots of little lines. So rather than doing a full relay over the top of the flesh, what we're going to do here along the neck, is we're just going to start coming along it. Like that sort of thing. And then similarly, just here and the next fold down of the neck muscle. Now that sort of thing, you want a kind of almost impure 
re-layering. Similarly, on the feet, well, legs, we're gonna do this around the kind of muscular bits. So, around here on the ankle. And then, turns into more of a highlight the further along you go. Like that, and then a bit of a highlight. Just like that sort of thing. And then similarly, you want to do some really tiny little ones around the top of the hooves. that sort of thing but also around the face we do actually have some more traditional highlighting to do like that sort of thing and on the ears as well We have also mentioned the mane and the tail. What we're going to do is we're going to run this along each of the hair strands. So with all of that Corax white applied, we're now going to take some thinned down white scar. I'm going to use this to add some spot highlights. So we're looking to do similarly again over the top of our kind of sharpest bit. So for example, there on the foot. that on the leg. Similarly, just above the hoof. Being a little bit more sparing with the white scar. Then up here on the main part of the neck, very similarly. Like that. And like that. You can add a couple of little slightly longer streaks. We want to use this to, once again, pick out the ears and the details around the face as well. So with that then done, we want to take the tiniest little dot of Screaming Skull and apply this in the back corner 
of the horse's eyes. So with that all done, the horse, well, horse's flesh, is now finished. So what we're going to do is move on to the next colour. And the next colour is going to be some thinned down blood reaver flesh. Now you don't have to do this, but what we are going to do, what I'm going to do, I should say, is I'm going to highlight all of the horse's leather armour. And as I say, this already looks really good. But I'm just taking this the extra crazy step. Because he's Theoden, he's my boy. So with that all done, it's crazy to me just how good that looks. <laughs> so what we're going to do is move on and we're going to take on some thinned down iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the silver. So what we can do here for the scale mail, for example, you just turn the other way, just come at it like this to just catch those edges. Just very gently. So with all that done, we're now going to take some thinned down Liberator Gold and we'll use this to highlight all the gold. So with that all done, it is now time to work on the king himself because Snowmane is at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. It's looking pretty awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by taking some Saigor Brown. I'm going to use this over the top of all of Theoden's heavy armor. Just like this. Now for a long time I thought it was black, but it turns out when you look really carefully at it, it's all brown. It's like a heavy leather. So, I'm just going to get this all over. Like that sort of thing. With all that Saigor brown applied, we're then going to take some flesh tear as red. We're going to apply this to Theoden's undershirt. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Templar and we're going to apply this over the top of his boots and his gloves.
And with that Black Templar applied, we're then gonna take some snake bite leather. I'm gonna use this over the top of his belt and any kind of remaining leather straps. With that snake bite leather applied, we then take Black Legion. And we're gonna apply this to quite a few bits on the shield. So we've got the outer rim. Like that. All the way around. And then, We've got the large triangles here, here, and the slightly smaller ones here and here, and the same on either side of the shield. And then we want to get out the bits just in and around here as well. And so with that done, we're now gonna tackle the difficult bit, which is going to be some thinned down Retributor armor. And what we're looking to do is we're looking to add in all the gold details. Now, there is quite a few gold details on Theoden, and we are looking for the kind of under layer of all of his armor really is the main one. This is the most difficult one, but at times it looks more like trim. So down here on this leg, for example, as you can see what I'm doing here as I'm painting in the panel. With the Retributor armor. Now don't worry too much if you get some of this on the brown, we are going to fix that. A little bit later. You'll have areas like that on the leg. But then, for example, here on this hip plate. It's again the kind of under bit. But then we move on to the chest plate where we end up picking out areas of trim like this. Now it ultimately doesn't have to be perfect. But just take your time. have the box art or the product photography in front of you for this. So with all of that Retributor armor applied all the way around, as you can see, what we're going to do now is going to take some Black Templar. I'm going to use this for some corrections, but also we're going to use this to paint in the sigils on his back and on his chest. What we're going to do here, just going to take small amounts of this. Apply this over this detail. And 
there, like so. Whereas on the front, what we want to do is we want to almost turn the brush sideways. We don't want to work this into any of the recesses because that's where all the gold is. Like so. And you can also, as mentioned, use this for some corrections. So just keep the brush at an angle. Don't come at it tip down or anything like that. You won't need very much on your brush at all to do this. So with that now done, we're gonna take some Gilliman flesh. I'm gonna apply this over the top of his face. Whilst we wait for the Gilliman flesh to dry, we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the kind of remaining metallic details. So with all of that Iron Warriors applied, we're then gonna take some Skeleton Horde. And we're gonna apply this over the top of his hair and beard. So with that all done, we've got all of our base coats on, on Theoden, on horse. However, there is one more to apply on our foot version, who we've been painting along at the same time. And it's going to be some Creed camo. I'm going to apply this over the top of his, well, I guess this is his under trousers or his skirt or something. So with that all done, all of our base coats are now on on both of our Theodons, so it's time to add some shades. Well, specifically, two shades, I think. <laughs> anyway, firstly what we're going to do is we're going to take some Nulled Oil. We're going to apply this over the top of the Scale Mail and any silver, such as the sword and the stirrups. Like that. And we are also going to apply this over the top of the armor. However, just be careful here not to fill up where we've added the gold. So just take small amounts around these bits. So with all of that null oil applied, we then take some Druki Violet and we use this to shade his red undershirt. So 
So with those shades applied, it is now time to declare these as War Hipster Battle Ready. I mean, the horse is already way beyond that, and that's where we're going with Theoden. So we're going to start adding some highlights. Now, the first of these is going to be, once again, some thinned down Blood Reaver flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight all of Theoden's armour. So with all that Blood Reaver flesh applied, we then take some thin down Night Quester flesh. And we use this to add a couple of little spot highlights here and there. So with that all done, his leather armor is now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Waz Daka Red. I'm going to use this to highlight all the red. And with that Wazdaka red applied, we then take a tiny bit of Cadian flesh tone. And we use this to add some little spot highlights. Along the folds of the red. Just like that sort of thing. So with that now done, we're gonna move on to the face. I'm gonna take some thins down Blade one flesh, and you really only just need a tiny bit of this to add some highlights to his cheeks and his lips and the sides of his nose. Just like that. With that flayed one flesh applied, we then need a very tiny, tiny amount of Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over his eyes. So with that all done, we're then going to take the teeniest, tiniest little dot of Screaming Skull and I'm going to apply this in the corners of his eyes. Like that sort of thing. I'm going to use this to highlight his teeth as well as his beard and moustache as well. So with that all done, we're now going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight the boots and gloves. With those black details now highlighted, it's time to move on to the next color, which is going to be all the silver. I'm going to be using some thinned down iron breaker once again, just like we did on the horse to highlight all the silver.
With all that iron breaker applied, there is but one thing left to do, which is to take some thin down liberator gold. I'm going to use this to highlight all of his gold. Now, when it comes to the gold that's kind of in and around the, the leather, you don't have to kind of highlight all of it. You can choose to do none of it, or you can choose to do some of it, any of the kind of sharpest bits or widest open bits. You can cover that up with some Liberator Gold. It just kind of depends on how shiny you want him to be. But I would absolutely advise doing the sword and the shield, as well as things like at the very top of his helm, for example. Like that. So with his base complete, both versions of Theoden are now finished. The one on horse, snow main to be precise, and on foot. And I'm really, really, really pleased with him. I think he looks fantastic. I cannot wait to get the king himself on the tabletop it's just such a favorite miniature of mine i absolutely adore it and it just feels really special to finally have a really nicely painted one if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you'd like to support me further you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash war hipster just like all of these wonderful amazing people have done and alternatively you could become a youtube channel member by clicking on the join button below exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these contrast plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.